I'm your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. I want to speak on the subject matter of Godwin Emefiele, Authenticity and the Nigerian State. I was amazed that Godwin Emefiele, the former governor of the Central Bank, was dragged like a rain-beating chicken to the court. A woman was holding his hand. He looked frail, looked ordinary, and looked frustrated. And he was granted bail to the tune of 20 million and one other shorty, if I'm right. But the most embarrassing aspect was the fracas between the DSS and officers of the Nigerian Correctional Service. They were now struggling over who would take custody of Emefiele. I saw him when he was being taken into an aircraft, and I think the officer deliberately displayed the handcuff while climbing the plane to show that Emefiele was being arrested former governor of the Central Bank, Central Bank of Nigeria, such an elevated position. But Emefiele was a tool in the hand of the oligarchy. He was lured to go and contest for the presidency through the platform of the APC. He did not know that he was being foolish by branding vehicles that amounted to several millions of naira, that people would question him how he managed to get that money. Emefiele was used as a tool to bring in the naira recoloration that brought untold hardship to Nigerians in a bid to maybe frustrate some politicians, including the present president, as he alleged at one time. And he did not know that those of us from minority tribes, those of us who do not belong to the oligarchy, must never be used as tools by the oligarchy. Your loyalty is to the nation. Your loyalty is to the people. If you want to be authentic, in a position of authority, let your hands be clean, let your loyalty be to the people. Obi invited, uh, uh, Peter Obi, His Excellency, invited the ES EFCC to come and probe his account, and nothing was found against him. That is how public office should be. When you deliberately tarnish your reputation, um, betray the trust of the people, you will go in for it, no matter who you are, excepting you belong to the oligarchy. Tafa Balogun, one time Inspector General of Police, was dragged like a doll by a very junior officer when he was arrested and the list goes on. The National Secretary of um, PDP at one time, Olisa Metu, who went to a secondary school and carried the vice principal and put in, a, in, the, in the trunk of his car because his child came to uh, the school with a phone, was carried on a stretcher to a court and treated like trash. Let me tell you something, this country be authentic, stand for the truth, keep your records clean. If not, after using you, they would trash you, put you into the trash can and trash you physically. The list goes on and on. I want to appeal to Nigerians, including the judiciary. Now, the INEC chairman must have been used one way or the other he is going to be treated like trash very soon. Some of these judges who are handling this presidential election tribunal and other tribunals, and even the judges of the Supreme Court, 
if you don't take care, when they have finished using you like a broom, you will be trashed. Nobody decorates a sitting room with a broom. This country is at the verge of collapse, of falling over a precipice. This is the time when men of honor and decency must stand up and speak for the truth. I was listening to a pastor, I can't remember his name, I shared the post on social media, who was wailing over the present situation in Nigeria. This was a man who was preaching in his church and was talking about using brain. And because he was a tribal bigot, he decided to support the, uh, the present president. Only one move that was made, he is crying over the cost of petroleum, over the cost of fuel, premium spirit. You have not seen nothing. You have not seen nothing yet. I'm just waiting for one of the governors from the South-South that was gallivanting all over the place and a militant from his state recently is accusing his successor of being rigged into office. And from reports on social media, he has been denied the possibility of becoming minister after all he had done for the present um, president. That governor should have been authentic. He was here, he was there, neither here, neither there, dancing with this and dancing with that. If he does not become that minister he was aspiring to become, he might be handcuffed by the EFCC very soon because his records will be probed and if his slate is not clean, he will be in trouble. We need authentic leadership in Africa. We need authentic leadership in ministry. There is something trending on social media about one prominent man of God whose baby mama is putting him under pressure. Zip your pants, men of God. Zip your pants. Remain authentic. This country is going through a process that will eventually lead to a revolution if care is not taken. Showare was saying in a post that when he was kidnapped from a court in Abuja by the DSS, Emir Fili was making fun of him and said that some rubbish things. Today, Emir Fili is having his own music, eating his own breakfast. Let's be careful. Let's stand for the truth in Africa. That's the only way that Nigeria, if Nigeria changes, the whole of Africa will change. If Nigeria collapses, Imagine the refugees that will enter Republic of Benin, enter Niger, enter Chad, enter Cameroon, enter Gabon, enter Europe. The collapse of Nigeria would devastate the economies of several nations. Let's be true to ourselves. Let's be honest and let's not deceive ourselves. Emir Fele is a typical example of somebody who was not truthful to himself, who deceived himself. Never ever deceive yourself. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles Apoki. Subscribe to this channel, share these videos with others, and go to my online bookstore, petrapublications.com. You will see that I have said several of these things over and over, over the years. And God bless you. You can send a message to plus 234 7052 to join my WhatsApp mentoring group. God bless you.